Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi. <laughs> um, yes, so we used to call companies with Skype. And uh, one of those companies, uh, one of my buddies called. And we were talking to customer service. Mm -hmm. And he, he called and he's like, hey, hey, it's me, Lightning McQueen. And the lady was like, oh. You're the voice of Lightning McQueen, the Disney show? And I was like, my buddy was just fucking around, obviously. I think he literally meant he was Lightning McQueen, but then we just <laughs> ran with it. And he's like, ha, yeah, I am the voice actor of Lightning McQueen, the Disney movie. <laughs> What's up? And uh, and she was really excited. She's like, my son loves that movie. He's like, well, if you play your cards right, <laughs> Lightning McQueen will give you a little autograph to give the little tyke. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god. And so their phone call was maybe like 30 minutes just talking back and forth about random shit. Oh my he just what? asked about like random products and like outrageous <laughs> questions. <laughs> like, How does this work? Like, that's an oven mitt, sir. How do I work it? Does it take batteries? <laughs> and, um, what? so, uh, yeah, dude. Anyways, uh, yeah, fucking goofy shit. And there we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a fairy fountain here. Yep. And then, uh,. Fucking, she's like, okay, you're, you're gonna need a, a password, sir. He's like, hey, okay. He's like, what, what's the email, sir? How about lightningmanqueen at soandso.com? He's like, okay, that's great. What about a password? And she's like, what's your son's name? She's like, uh, Larry. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but sure. <laughs> Larry. He's like, okay, I want my password to be Larry is the coolest fan. He is number one in my eyes. I love fans like Larry I hope to sign their autographs all the time only if their name are Larry very cool she's like um sir that that's ridiculous that's a little long she's like he's like do you want the fucking autograph she's like uh yes sir yes like uh I she had she gotta know he was just fucking with her but that was fucking hilarious. One time I called and I asked about an item. I was like, hello! And they're like, uh, hi, sir. What can I do for you? I'm like, I'm here to call about an item. And they're like, uh, yes, what item is that? I'm like, uh, the item number. I have the item number. They're like, okay, what's the item number? 89173, whatever. I'm like, okay, I see, um, everyday caffeine pills. I was like, yeah, that's right. Uh, how many of these are you supposed to take? And they're like, uh, it says one to two. Take one to two a day. I was like, one to two what? And they're like, one to two uh capsules a day i was like shit and they're like what sir i'm like i took one to two bottles and they're like, oh my god sir do you need me to call the paramedics i'm like no fuck i i think i think my heart is coming down now all right i'll, I'll talk to you later and they're like sir you should probably remain on the line i'm like see you later <laughs> oh that's great oh man did you ever prank phone call when you were little no i i, I never did actually no i i was a... never no nah, dude i never did i, I was wow. super like well behaved for the most part the only yeah. the, the worst i the worst i ever did was freaking talk to my grandparents on in, instant messenger with my mom's account oh yeah like they thought like what up little bitches they thought she thought that like i talked to my grandma she thought she was talking to my mom but it was actually just me <laughs> that's the worst i ever did that's not even we got a badass on our hands sound the badass alert <laughs> Wow. Yeah. No. I remember my first prank phone call ever. I was probably in like third or fourth grade, maybe, so like 10 years old. Uh, and I had my buddy. Uh, we'll call him H. Mm -hmm. uh, and H and I were just chilling at my house, and we we're like, oh, dude. Like, we, we probably saw a prank phone call in like a cartoon or something. We're like, we should do a prank phone call. He's like, yeah, let's do a prank phone call. I was like, all right, sweet. This sounds fun. So, are uh, you getting a fish right now? Yep. Oh, okay. And then, uh, so we, we fucking call, uh, fuck, ah, God. come here, bitches, okay, so we just call, we pick up the phone, we call some random ass number, uh -huh. right, this is probably in like 2003-ish, 2002, and, uh, someone picks up, They're like, hello, and I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe they were only 18 or something, but since we were 10 years old, they sounded old, right, oh, I see, okay, and I remember we were cracking up, we were like trying not to laugh, and I was just like, this is your boss! <laughs> but I was, you know, 10 years old, and probably, this is your boss! Uh -huh. And then we're like, you're fired! And then we just, like, started losing our shit. We thought it was so funny. Even though, like, <laughs> the person there was probably like, what the fuck is going on? And then, um, 
So we hang up the phone, and then the dude calls back, because we don't know about Star 67. We don't know about any of that. Oh, this was, yeah. like, right when call caller identification was pretty new. Um, and so we're like, what? He called back, and he talked to my mom. He's like, you've got a kid upstairs, like, making claims to be my boss. Blah, blah. And so my mom put us on the phone, made us say sorry, and we were just <laughs> like, oh. We felt bad, but it was fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Huh. Good times. Wow. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my God. I'm going to Jabu Jabi. Oh. Dude, it looked like he was doing the Kirby sucking move. <laughs> he just turns into a giant link whale. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, um. I like this kind of I used to hate it. Yeah, this one kind of, it just annoys me because of all the fucking bubbles everywhere. Yeah, that's And the, cool, the shocky right? jellyfish thingies, those always annoyed me. Oh, yeah, those are, those are annoying. I mean, yeah, there, there are parts. I think it's I like cool it. cool temple. Yeah, I think, like, when I was a little kid, I was like, oh, I, it's so cryptic and, like, hard to navigate. But now that I'm older and I've done it so many times, I'm like, ah, it's not that confusing. And mm. it is cool. Like, you're in a fucking animal. <laughs> it's sick. Fuck you, PETA. <laughs> this one's for you, Peta. Oh yeah, bitch. Cletus, you want a new one? Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> See, fucking jellyfish. I hate those things. Bitches. How do you defeat? Oh yeah, the slingshot. Yeah. God, that's and just annoying. Oh, oh yeah, the boomerang. Forgot about that. All right, so I don't need these right now. I need that to hold down a button. But later. Of course, you know the worst part of this dungeon. <laughs> fucking princess. Fuck, Rudo. Princess, fuck you, I'm going down a hole. Hi, Princess Rutard. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's me, Princess Rutard. <laughs> I never asked anyone to do such a thing. Better in a battle? I have no idea. Princess Wait, so, wait, so did they ever explain this? She said, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, is she lying? Yeah. Okay, so she's lying. All right. She's like, I'm 13 now. I'm old enough to be a scene girl. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> okay. Oh. Actually, I think I do need her right now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the monster you fight in there. I think. Spooked me when I was younger. Oh yeah, the one that you have to like throw the boomerang at and thingy. the tentacle, the weird freaking. I don't even know how. Um. Yo, what up, girl? You're still hanging around here, bitch. I told you to get away. I'm okay. I was going inside this bitch's belly since I was little, but he's been so strange lately. Like, he's pooping like ten times more than usual. On top of that, my precious stone is... smells. Look, just get GTFO, bro. Ah, you can't skip it. Jeez, that's annoying. Uh, 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 oof. Escort mission. Oof. Oof. Now Oof. that I think about it, it is kind of funny how she like she becomes your item for the dungeon. Oof. <laughs> Oof. By the way, I have nothing against Peta for what it's worth. <laughs> In case you you can't tell that it's just a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Which apparently. Goddamn! It's 2018. <laughs> Anything that makes me feel uncomfortable in 2018 should be illegal. <laughs> Ooh, hey, there's number 10. Um. Oh, sweet dude. Um, so, so back on the topic of prank phone calls, uh, it's funny, I do actually remember somebody trying to prank phone call me. Oh, really? Yeah, it was, it was kind of like the one you just said in that it's like, it wasn't all that funny. Yeah. So I was, uh, I think I was in high school when it happened. What happened was, uh, yeah, <laughs> I remember something. <laughs> was, were you the one that we prank called James? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's impossible. So... No. I mean, yes. Um, so what happened was I was just sitting there on the couch and somebody called my cell phone and I'm like, hello? Hello? I just hear snickering. And they're like, <laughs> like, hello? Who is this? Hello? Yes! Who, who is this? Where your butt? <laughs> they're just snickering. I was like, okay. And and then and I didn't butt? something like that, and I I didn't even finish. I was just like, "Fuck you guys!" Then I just hung up. I'm sure after I hung up, they were like, ha, 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 "We totally got him, <laughs> sick burn, Tyler." <laughs> got him. 
Yeah, yeah, except not. Oh, yeah, if you throw her in the water, doesn't she, like, evaporate or something? I don't remember. She, I think she, like, goes back to where she was. <laughs> okay, I think I can get the compass or the map if I swim under here. Yeah, I'm sure I did shit like that when I was... I didn't prank phone call, but... <laughs> it reminds me of the freaking, uh... There, there was a bit in the Donkey Kong cartoon where Diddy and Donkey Kong are like, Let's give him a practical joke. And Diddy's like, oh, really? What are we going to do? And Donkey Kong's like, yeah, I know what to do. Let's radio them, then hang up. <laughs> Diddy's like, what the hell is wrong with you? That's not going to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I wonder if her crotch smells like fish. Yeah. <laughs>